Hi there. <laughs> if you're hopeless romantic like me, you would understand all of this, yeah? You would perfectly understand all of this. So why can't we have the same standards in Ghana? Like, even if not the same year, why can't we have like something close or something similar? <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a minute and it's not really my fault. I've just been so busy. I've, I don't know. I've just been so busy with my dissertation and it's just stressing me out. Like postgraduate life is not a joke, period. It's not a joke. That's all I can say. So yeah, I've just been busy with my dissertation and I'm trying to finish up almost done and I'm happy. <laughs> So as you can see from the title of this video, today's video is going to be a tour, my uni accommodation tour. So like, I'm just going to show you guys around my uni accommodation and that's just and it. Before I get into the video, if you are new on my channel, I just want to say a big thank you for coming by my channel and I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. So kindly do well to hit the subscribe button below and make sure to click on the notification bell beside the subscribe button so that anytime i upload a video you get notified and to my returning viewers thanks a lot for sticking by even though i have not posted in a while thanks a lot for the love and i love you lot right back and if you are a returning viewer and you have still not subscribed to my channel yet i really don't know what you are doing with your life you better do the needful now by hitting the subscribe button below and thank you <laughs> okay guys so straight into today's video i'm just going to show you guys around my house my house <laughs> let's say my house yeah actually it's my house because it's been my house for like close to a year now so it's my house so i'm going to show you guys around my uni accommodation and it's a student house so we are we're supposed to be five in this house but we are just four so one room has been empty since and yeah we are just four so i have three other housemates um one is also doing her masters and two of them are doing their phd yeah and it's quite a weird combination because i have like we have myself Ghanaian, and my other housemates one of my housemates is from pakistan another one is from iraq and the last one is from china so that is quite a weird combination but like they are lovely people and i must say they are not really that difficult to live with and i feel they are all matured so it makes things easier um yeah aside that so that's just uh, my my house is a five bedroom house everyone has her bedroom we have like a common kitchen um we've got um two bathrooms with two toilets and we've got one extra toilet down so i'm currently in the kitchen and that's where i'm going to start the tour from um yeah so we have a nice and modern kitchen and i really love the kitchen like i proper love this kitchen uh, we have like a small sitting area so enough of the talking let me just show you guys around so just come with me uh, so this is our kitchen and like I said we have a nice modern kitchen and I'm sure aside my bedroom this is like my favorite space in the house because like it's so lovely so um, we've got like a small sitting area where you can come hang with your friends when you have like friends come over and you don't want to sit in your bedroom with them you could just bring them here and chill so yeah that's like a small sitting area and this is like the dining area and i proper love these chairs like i don't know but that's like one of my favorite things about this kitchen these chairs i proper love them and they sort of match um the, the wallpaper uh yeah one other thing i like about this kitchen is this thing right here like that's it like it goes in here like that and when you want to use it you just press it and it comes out so it's like uh how do i call this 
a multi socket i don't know if that's that's the right word to use but it's like a multi socket and it's it's got um two usb ports as well so you could charge your phone whilst you're in the kitchen and it's also got bluetooth so um when you have friends come over and you just want to jam all you need to do is connect your bluetooth here and there's a party <laughs> and what else yeah so we've got the fridge microwave oven we've got the washer here and of course the sink and then our burner so yeah that's just it and we just have cabinets all over over here over there uh, down there all the way there so yeah that's that's just the kitchen for you and then um what else yeah so we have um a back door through the kitchen I usually use this door when I'm coming back from uni because it's quite a shelter for me. Yeah. And yeah, one other thing I love about the kitchen is this light. Ugh. So lovely. So basically, that is the kitchen in the same area. Yeah, so let's move from the kitchen and let me show you. So this is like the main entrance to the house and uh, this is the first room. This is the toilet downstairs. Um, yeah, so it's just a single toilet and that's just it. It's, it's actually proper small, <laughs> but that's cool. And this is the second room. This is actually the empty room though, the first room, like there's no one there. Yeah, so that's just the downstairs. And we go upstairs. <laughs> So that was the third room and this is the fourth room and we've got another bathroom here so that's bathroom number two and we've got a toilet as well and of course a mirror hi there <laughs> okay guys enough now let's go to my room so my room is like the fifth room and ta-da that is my room okay so where do we start from so this is my bedroom basically and yeah okay so that's my room let me just show you guys around my room let's start from here so i've got a basin i've got a mirror um this this is why i keep like most of my clothes and trust me if you like buying like me <laughs> your stuff would definitely not fit in this but like i manage yeah so that's why i keep my clothes and this is like my beauty or makeup table so i keep my hair products my makeup my face products body lotions face masks brushes yeah everything over here <sighs> This is my sanitary pad. <laughs> yeah, I keep all of that over here. And that's just there. Yeah, that's my ring light for my YouTube. And this table, this desk is actually supposed to be a steady table or a steady desk. But obviously, 
Now I could extend it into something else. However, I still read here. Yeah, I still do my studies here. Yeah, like, I, I really don't like going to the library at night. So, whenever I want to read at night, I use the table, the desk. So yeah, this is supposed to be a reading desk, but yeah, I, I still use it for reading. Just that it has been occupied by other stuff. But yeah, I still do my reading here, and like you can see. My wigs have taken over, but like it's fine. And I've got a few body bags over there. And like this room is not that small, but I, for me, I think it's small because <laughs> I really can't organize my things so well here. That's the thing. And yeah, but I manage, I manage. So yeah, I've got my shoes down there. I, I don't know how I have all of these shoes but I, i've got my shoes down there and this is my wardrobe so basically i just keep my coat and jacket in the wardrobe that's all i keep in there and of course the wardrobe has got a mirror as well yeah and this is my bed this is my bed this is my bed and if you are hopeless romantic like me, you would understand all of this, yeah? You would perfectly understand all of this, so yeah. I've just got pictures of me and my best friend, my boo, the love of my life, all over here. Like, it feels good to have him close. Like, I just wake up every morning and I see him, so that's fine. That's my way of dealing with long distance. <laughs> So yeah, basically that's just the like that's that's my room and that's my uni accommodation. This thing like so this is supposed to be like uh what's it called? Is it a note board or a notepad? Guys, what's the name? <laughs> so I was away when they came to install this. It's actually a lovely photo. This is like a photo from the city center and which is so lovely but my only problem is where they position this it could have gone on top like it would have been way better up here i don't know why they put it down i've got here. drawers down here as well um where is it there are drawers down here and uh, that's why i keep my little stuff my straightener my blow uh, blow dryer and some other stuff i've got them in there they actually two but because this best side drawer is here i can't use that so i just use this one so guys basically this is my room and yeah yeah and one other thing i i forgot to tell you guys like so from my room i can see like let me show you guys the view from my room um this is like the back of the house here so i don't have a front view but i have the back view and that's like a car park for the university and i i really don't have any problem with this place here yeah? my only problem has to do with all of these abrochian color like when they are going for their parties at night like clubbing or they are going parties and like I don't know. Ah, uh, God, they make so much noise. Like when they are using the back road, and mostly it's at night when I'm like trying to sleep, and it's so annoying. Very, very, very. Okay, annoying. guys. So this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my uni accommodation tour. But before I end this video, I just have one question. Back up it. So why can't we have the same standards in Ghana? Like, even if not the same year, why can't we have like? something close or something similar to this standard in ghana like just have a look at our halls even the hostels leave your thoughts in the comment section below let's get talking what do you think do you think we can do better or do you think we haven't gotten to that level yet or like what is the problem just leave your comments down below and let's get talking see you guys in my next video bye